Welcome to the Unscripted Authentic Leadership Podcast. I am your host, John LeBrun. If you are a leader, entrepreneur, or future leader, and you are looking to level up your leadership, this is the place for you. Here at Unscripted, it is our mission to build leaders to better serve their families, businesses, and communities. Today, I have a special guest, my buddy, my good, amazing son, Andrew LeBrun. Say hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. So today for our fun off script episode, I thought it would be really fun to to bring in my little man who works on leadership all the time, personal development, and let him talk with you and me and kind of bring you into my family just a little bit. Before we get started, I have to tell you though, this show is brought to you by patreon.com slash unscripted leadership. That's patreon.com slash unscripted leadership. Your contributions have been amazing in helping us reach more people. We are now in 42 countries and over 600 cities. And big shout out to Bromley in the UK. Bromley is our number one city for downloads. I don't know how that happened, but love you guys over there. And also number two city is my hometown, Fairborn, Ohio. So appreciate the love, everybody. But get on patreon.com slash unscripted leadership and become a patron today. So today we are here to talk about leadership, father to son. I thought I'd bring in my little man for just a five or 10 minute segment to talk about leadership within the youth. As leaders, if we are not building the next generation, what are we doing? As fathers, it is our duty to build our family, not just literally build them and grow them, but to build them as people so they can better serve their families, businesses, and communities. And so today I have with you my son. He is John Andrew LeBron the Fourth, and we call him Andrew or Drewski. And we have all kinds of other fun names that he probably doesn't want to get into today. No. <laughs> but I'll have him introduce himself, buddy. Tell them how old are you, and tell them something about you. Um, I'm ten, and I really like sports and video games. He loves sports and video games. What is your favorite sports? Um, lacrosse and flag football. Yeah, lacrosse and flag football. And you do a little bit of wrestling. Yeah. Very cool. All right. So, buddy, let's jump right into it, okay? What do you think leadership means to you? Um, probably, like, being a leader and, like, such as, um, maybe leading your business group your business group to uh, making it into a like a multi-billion dollar company all right it's billion with a b <laughs> what else um, so why do you think leadership is so important because without it what are you gonna do well maybe you're gonna be a bad leader or yeah if you want a bad if you were a bad leader then your business would probably fail Amen. You think a bad leader, a company with a bad leader make it through the pandemic? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. So what are some characteristics of a good leader? Um, probably like friendly. Talk in the mic. Uh, probably friendly and um, willing to take risks, but um, not get it and not get um too far away from their main goal. Okay. How does a leader treat their team? Um, I think they should treat them nicely, but let them know what they're supposed to do and that they should do it. Okay, so provide direction? Yeah. Okay, very cool. So is the leader serving his team or expecting everything to come his way? Um, probably... Um, Mostly serving them. Yes. But if they, but um, he should be able to rely on them for s- small things. Okay, very cool. So, what do you think? How do you think young young men like yourself can become better leaders? Hmm, probably listening to directions. Okay. So you recently. I uh, read, or you're recently reading one of Tim Tebow's books called, I think it's called Through My Eyes, yeah, right? So Andrew's an amazing reader. He's incredible. And he reads books every single day. And uh, 
He's a Tim Tebow fan because he likes football and Jesus, and so does Tim. And so you've been reading that book. How, how have you liked it so far? I've liked it a lot. Okay. What have you learned from Tim Tebow's book? Um, mostly to never give up for what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Talk in the mic. So never give up on what you want to do. Is, is life always easy? Heck no. <laughs> Heck no. Is it hard? Some is it fair? No. No, what do we always say about fairness? Um, <laughs> I don't really remember. Life's just not fair. <laughs> so, what about Tim Tebow's book stood out to you the most? Um, the fact that he grew up living on a barn and always wanted to um, work until he couldn't anymore. Okay. So, do you mean through the day? Yeah. Okay. And how was his journey to football? Um, it was hard. Mm-hmm. Um, he used to think that he wanted to do something, but then football grew on him. Mm-hmm. And then it got harder and harder to as he got more popular because he did better in football. Mm-hmm. And then places started looking for him and asking him to join. And then it got really hard to um, bring it down. Bring what down? It to like two colleges. Oh, okay, to choose a college? Yeah. Okay, very cool. So what is, was Tim, Tim Tebow the most uh, talented player or was he the hardest working player? Um, he was the hardest working player. Okay. What do we say about hard work? Hard work beats talent when? Talent fails to do good. When talent fails to work hard, right? Remember that. Hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. What does that mean? You don't have to be the most talented individual as long as you're willing to put the work in, right? Yeah. Yes. Andrew loves lacrosse. How often do you go practice before practice starts? Every time. Every time. You get there early? Every time. Are you the first one there? Um, pretty much every time. Pretty much every time you're the first one there. And do you start working out before the team ever gets there? Oh, yeah. Like sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes an hour before the team ever gets there? Yeah. Right? Why yes. do you do that? Because it's hard work, and when you work hard, you get better. You get better. Are you the smallest one on the team? I uh, definitely. <laughs> you're the smallest one on the team. Like, you're playing with the fifth and sixth grade. Yeah, because I'm in fifth grade. Yeah. And I'm the smallest one. And you're one of the smaller ones even on the fourth grade team. True. Right? Yeah. But does it matter? No. No. Why? Because I can do better because I'm small and I can work hard. Okay. Very cool. So, Andrew, tell me, what are some values that are important? What does a value mean to you, first of all? What are values? Something worth something. Okay. What is... A value is something that's important to a person. What do they value? Like, you value things around your house. You value traits about some people, right? Yeah. It, it's about how you uh, how you conduct yourself, like whether it's sincerity or honesty or being authentic, sort of stuff like that. What are values that you think are important to you? Probably um, my Nintendo okay, and Nintendo. my parents. And your parents? Okay. Which oh, parents and my favorite? sister. Do I have to answer that on camera? <laughs> it's mom, we all know. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> but what are some characteristic traits then that are important to you? Um, to be honest, um, you guys being nice. Okay. No, but what about for you to be? Um, nice. Being nice. How does honesty rank on your value system? Really high. Really high, right? He's just one of the most honest kids I've ever met, I promise you. Um, he's not a good liar. <laughs> That's so, so true. Yeah. What do you feel about gratitude? You don't remember what gratitude is? Yeah, gratitude is like if someone gave you something, you'd be happy about it. Grateful for it, yeah. That'd be pretty high on my list. Okay. So how often do we talk about gratitude? Like pretty much every time we get in the car. Yeah. What do we ask every time you get in the car? What were you? What are you grateful for? And it always has to be something we haven't said yet. Yes, two things you're grateful for, right? 
It's yeah. like a little mini gratitude challenge. Quick, two things you're grateful for. Go. It has to be something new or something you haven't said in a long time. Right? Very cool. My sister has a trick she does with it. What's that? Every time she says God. God. Well, we have to let go. that go. Yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, I've already said God and I choose different things every time. Yeah. One time I asked his sister, give me two things. She said fork and spoon. <laughs> <laughs> she did. So, all right, buddy. Hey, I just want you to know I am so proud of you. Okay? So you are an ama- turning into an amazing young man, and the decisions you make every day are just incredible to me. Okay? And your attitude and your mental toughness and your physical toughness, all those things, but the mental toughness to me is the most important. And I just want you to know that I and your mom are so proud of you and where you're going and your future and all those things. Before we get off here, what do you want to be as you get older? What do you want to become? Probably a better sports player. Okay. And a better businessman. A better businessman. What about when you get out of uh, after high school? Is there a career you want to look at? Paleontologist. Paleontologist. And why are you excited about turning 12? Because then I get to go my first paleontology dig. There you go. First paleontology dig. So, guys, I hope you learned something today. Just a small conversation from me to my son, Andrew. But understand how important it is to pour into your children, to put seeds into your children, of explain to them how they can be great how they are great, how they were created with the seeds of greatness inside of them. And remember, give them the experiences they can to under, to take that next step. So he wants to be a paleontologist. So what do we want to do? At 12 years old, they have a paleontology camp. Why are we doing that? So he can understand, is this really something that he wants to do? I understand that everybody can, can do that right away. I get it, but do the things. Let that will let them explore their interests. Give them experiences. I promise these are way more important than the next Nintendo game. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this off script episode of the Unscripted Leadership Podcast. As always, we pray that you be the leader that God has called you to be. Until next time. <laughs>